The Parker Andersons is about a mixed race blended family. Tony is an ex football player from England. After the death of his wife Joy, him and the kids, they immigrate to Chicago, where, of course, he meets Cleo and uh, they fall in love. It's quite a unique uh, blend. So there's so many dynamics that we're learning. They're learning about our food, we're learning about the, you know, the environment in uh, the United States. There's a bit of culture shock from the one side of the family that's coming in from England, and then you have the one side that's already been living in Chicago. They do get into some difficult conversations, but the writers do a great job making the show funny. I think it's really cool to see the relationships grow throughout the season. My relationship with the Andersons, the Andersons' relationships with the Parkers. For my character, she's trying really hard to make it all work and to make the kids like her. And sometimes that's like her greatest flaw is trying a little bit too hard. She's willing to go to whatever extremes to make us united. And then the same thing with Tony. You know, he, he, he loves Cleo, he loves his family. And he's learning about Charlie and he's learning about Victoria and he's definitely learning about Roger. <laughs> Roger and Tony have an interesting relationship. Uh, he's now married to my former wife, so you can imagine it can be a little bit awkward. Roger still pines for his, uh, his wife at times and feels like maybe there's a chance, but there never will be. Uh... <laughs> my character um, likes to be very smart and she always has her lists. She's very like A-type personality, whereas Agape's character, Nathan, is a little bit more chill. Um, and so the dynamic is really funny. Like she really cares about him and loves his energy energy for what it is, but I think also she could be a little bit jealous with the fact because she likes to be the smart one, right? He gets to be cool and popular and smart. Who doesn't like the new British kid, right? Like, cool accent, like, cool clothes. In the Parker side, he's kind of like the guy that brings lightness to the family, even though there has been some trauma that the family has experienced, while at the same time still live his teenage life. You know, he's super into girls, and <laughs> and, and he still gets his studies done, surprisingly, actually. Nick's sort of position in the whole family dynamic, he's like the big brother. You're gonna see that kind of big brother, little brother dynamic, especially between him and Nathan. Uncle Tony is kind of like Nick's sort of guide. When you think about the kids, the one thing that you always notice in the show is that these kids are loved. They're loved by Roger, they're loved by Cleo, they're loved by Tony. Sure you want to keep doing this? I wouldn't change it for the world. <laughs>